from TO4. I'm Amy from TO4. I'm Stephanie from TO4. Um, uh, before we start, let me show you something. That's what I want to show you, a piece of paper. Um, can anyone tell me uh, what paper you should be made of? Tree. Yes, <laughs> yes, you're right, it's tree. And we are here, uh, our group knows that genetically modified organisms uh, make news every day and we are curious about how GM trees interacting with the environment. An experiment of four year old field, uh, field trial was performed on GM low naming trees in order to study the impact on the environment and the performance towards the denitrification as well as the paper production process. And the results show that uh, the GM trees growing in a race showing that not much difference from reference trees. And however, in regard to the denitrification, uh, the GM trees perform better, which means that less chemical is needed for uh, less chemicals need to digest the nightly. And in addition, GM trees uh, yield higher quality pulp. Um, to sum up, our group believes that uh, further investigation is needed uh, since there are some limitations of the, about this piece of study. And the limitation will be introduced by Stephanie. Um, so after the short introduction to our group's topic, um, I will talk about the four main points of concern we identified. Um, the first one is um, um, <laughs> the researchers set up um, two experimental um, two experiments, one in France and one in England. And the French trial was composed of ten trees in total, and uh, the English one of twenty-four. And both times the trees were surrounded by normal trees or wild trees in order to minimize the um, edge effects. Um, however, we think that the sample, um, sample size was too small to generalize the findings towards commercial plantations um, found in monocultured, um, monocultured forests. And furthermore, the, sem the trial setup do not prevent the uh, dispersal of uh, genetically modified um, pollen into neighboring trees, and so outcrossing will most probably occur. And um, um, these effects were not investigated. Um, the second point is about the length of the English trial, which was originally um, planned as a long term trial. And it was um, um, and it's premature because um, anti-GM activists cut down the trees. And due to the short, um, however, the researchers sampled the destroyed trees um, immediately to further examination. Um, but we think um, due to the short um, tr um, experiment, the um, results may have a limited uh, accuracy. Um, as trees um, grow very slowly, as you, as you know, and they require long-term trials in order to fully understand um, the effects on the environment. Um, our third point of concern questions the annu annually control of insects and pathogens. Um, we know that the ORSIS did this only once a year um, because it is recommended by governmental standard survey protocols. However, we think as the trees have an artificial modification, um, the sampling should have undergone more often to, in order to obtain more detailed information. And um, especially because the annual control did not take into account the natural inclining and declining cycles in um, population size. And another important point is that insects um, next to the trial are not examined for abnormal changes like it happened in the monarch butterfly population in the, in the US after the caterpillars, here you can see one, um, fed on the genetically modified cr um, corn. And the last point of concern 
is about the soil sampling after the destruction of, of the um, of the trees. Um, the results were obtained from six trees, six modified trees, um, each sampled three times in a radius of 30 centimeters. And, um, and the pr procedure we are questioning here is the sample deeps, which was only 0 to 10 centimeters. And the researchers inferred from their results that the mycorrhizal, mycorrhizal community is uh, quite similar to the one of non-modified trees. However, we think um, um, that the results may be limited because they only sampled a small um, part of the entire mycorrhizal community. And therefore, yeah. And now we will pass over to Amy, um, who will talk about the relevance of the article. Thank you, Stephanie. And now I will talk about the relevance to the article to our topic. And at the very beginning, our topic is decided to talk about the pros and cons of the genetic modified trees to the environment. And as we noticed that there are too many information and too many data in the internet. Therefore, we decided no con low content gene trees. And, and here is the here is the article we find, and <coughs> we find this article is quite interesting and useful and suitable for our topic because the author do some experiments go in the field which is uh, quite different to the traditional way and which is only do in the greenhouse and therefore the the GMG will have interaction with the wind the 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 rain also the force and. Therefore, we can know more details on the GM trees and the environment. And also, the offer do the GM trees in a large scale, which means we can obtain more data on the re relationship with the GM tree and the environment. And also, the offer and choose two kinds of the common low-limiting tree. These two, this is the two species. As we know that the process of unification involves a lot of uh, a lot of M size and this tree, the first one tree is uh, has this M size dysfunction, the second kind of tree is has this function, this M size dysfunction. And therefore we can obtain different information from different type of the tree. And because uh, with, if the M size is not function well then the linen pro produce will become less and therefore the paper making process will be more efficient. And also, the author chose two countries, United Kingdom and France, uh, for do for the experiment because different pace will have different climates and the soil condition may be different. And therefore, the more information we we can get from the experiment, and also the author chose uh, the duration of the experiment is about four years. And although it's not still not long enough, but I think it's suitable for a a key experiment because she is goes very slowly. And finally, the author measure the goal of the transgenic plants, such as the height, the, the diameter of the trunk. And we can compare with the GM trees and the normal tree and to see whether the tree will healthily go or go uh, fast or slower compared with the normal trees. And also, we, and the author measure the biological interaction between the GM trees and the no, and, and the normal trees, such as the insect, the fungi, the bacteria they find in between those normal trees and the GM trees. And lastly, the author also uh, found the, uh, the, my, the microbial organisms in the soil, and also measure the decomposition rate of the carbon and the and nitrogen, and to see whether the normal tree and the GM tree will have any difference. This is all of our presentation. Now it's the Q&A session.